saw this tree. A little bit of wind, we got a storm rolling in. And then I saw this ditch. And I thought, huh, looks like a little bit of ditch, but it's a wet weather stream, creek, dried up nothingness. So I thought, how do you know what's in there unless you get in it? So I'm gonna check it out. Stop. Check this out. what that is that is the top to a hand grenade practice I don't know real I don't know the tops could all have been the same I was never in the army I never threw a grenade I was a field medic for the Marines in the Navy, so we carried nine millimeters and just hope for the best. Check it out, that's a good sign. This is about the same signal that it was. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of 70 signals out here. I gotta find it. That is something with a screw in the top. That grenade crap cap ran up to 79.81. I don't know what that is. No idea. Let me clean up a little bit. metal plate of something probably a foot had a ball on it or a roller or a caster I think that is a button it's missing the shank this one broke off that side I remember I think I was an infant but I remember hearing a song on the radio that later on I found out it was by Garth Brooks he wrote a song about being shankless maybe this is what he was talking about Found a good solid 90s signal right here. It could be just a fancy piece of aluminum. Oh, it is. Man, I thought it was something incredible. But I had a feeling. I'm hooked on a feeling. I, that is <clears throat> the top to a post for a fence. And it is not aluminum, but it is metal. This is a short video, I know, but I'm gonna go do a little more research on this area. And try to get a feel for the flavor that's in the ground. That's kind of promising. Thanks for watching my video. I'm gonna take a break and show you something earlier. I got a gift. Hey EA, no need to squint any longer. Hang on, bug on my ear. Hey EA, no need to squint any longer. Get a string, tie to your man purse handle, or slip it in the inside pocket. We'd love to treat you to the best burger in town next time you're in Auburn, D. Well, I had to take a trip. Check this out. Uno, dos, yikes, trace. I got a black one, a silver one, and a solid gold one. Solid gold. These are awesome. Because I dropped and broke the Kelly looking glass. So I will use the D looking glass for a little while. For a long while, probably. Pretty awesome, huh? So next. I'm gonna go back out there. Thank you so much, D. These are way too cool. I didn't know there was three in a box. I thought you like ordered your the one you wanted. 
And then that was just giving you an idea like, well, you could have had all three, dude. But then I read the box and actually opened it. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you so much, Auburn D. I'm going to go see what I can find. Maybe I have to utilize these. It's a blank practice round. Getting closer. That practice round or that blank was a 60, red out, it's a 62. Somebody sent me or put a message. Oh, it's deeper. Somebody wrote a comment that my channel would grow if I didn't ramble so much. I don't know if they mean I talk too much or I don't know what it means. So I can practice that. Where is this item in the hole? It's not that worm. Let me find this. I found it. So as to not ramble, I'm not gonna talk about this as much as I really, really want to. I'm gonna whisper so maybe he won't hear me. I'm not gonna talk. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you across the YouTube. I found another bullet. Put it in my man purse. Shh. It holds a rope on a tent. I think that's what it was meant for to use to keep it really tied. It's quite impressive, isn't it? It was hot out here. I mean, I was digging up this old stuff, sweating to the oldies, get it? But the wind is picking up. It's neat, it's aluminum. Brian, explain to everybody what that is. It's like a puzzle. You put it back together and no one ever knows you were here. Are you my mommy?
I'm gonna talk. <laughs> I'm not sure what the red ones mean. With an orange tip. That's pretty awesome right there. Again, orange tip, red. I think it's time to break out the Auburn D loop. RA 1967, that's Remington Arms, made for the government, 1967. That's pretty awesome. That's almost 50 years ago this is cranked out of the mama plant. Check it out, it's a dropped too, it's a dropped. <laughs> no idea. I mean, I can kind of see what the function might be. It's like that conjunction junction. What's your function? But I don't know what that is. Hawk, mama, mama, mama. Got a Narian. I got a Narian. Kind of a hot rod. Remember that? It is a library penny. You have no idea how much that offends people. Number one, when I call that a library, and number two, when I call it a penny. But if you look on the US Mint website, .gov, G-O-V for government, they call them Lincoln pennies. So run and tell your mom about that. I can't rebuild it. I'm sorry I broke it. I'm sorry. Don't be angry. I don't know what that is. Let's observe the fruits of my labor. That was from earlier. That just stuck in my hand. Did you get away? There's that thing. I don't know what that is. That's probably one of my favorites today. Along with that, I got two of those. The other one, I took a break earlier. If you noticed, I did like a wrap up. That was a uh, pre wrap up. Then a few rounds. You can't prove they're spent or not. They're not. They're empty, but they're not hit. Uno Centos Penny Librarian Memorial, if you will. few of those. Oh, El Tomastadissimo. Anybody know what that is yet? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you? Thanks for watching my videos. I'll try to be quieter next time.